So creative director Craig from Temerity Jones joins Hello. me now. Hello, tell us about this amazing stand. I feel I've died and gone to heaven. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, well, Temerity Jones is a new brand. Uh, we've, we started trading in September and uh, the whole brand was really born from an idea that I think that the retailers today are looking for something a bit quirky, a bit different. Uh, and that's kind of where I felt I could I could do something and use my imagination to and run wild and and have some fun. Because so you've think, designed think, a lot of this as well, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. So everything has had our hand on it. Uh, me and my group of direct, uh, designers, uh, and we've just let our imaginations run wild, really. And I love your stand. I love what Thank you've you done with much. the place. Um, okay, so t tell us about this area that we're in here. There's lots of cool light up signs which are very on trend at the moment. Thank you very much. Okay, I guess this room. We, we sort of call our London loft room. So it's very sort of inspired by the New York loft style, um, some quirky lighting, sort of that slightly vintagey industrial feel, um, and just all these little playful elements that I think that brighten people's lives up. And I think that's, that's what we all need now. Isn't it just? And tell us about your inspiration. Where do you get your inspiration from? Uh, from my own sort of my own tastes, the things I see around me. Certainly, walking around London, you, you see a lot of stuff going on, and you just pick little little bits of this and that and the other, and just um, try and remix it up to make your own flavour. And I think that's what designing is about. I mean, it's very hard to to start from nothing, but you you just absorb your environment and you just tweak it and make it your own. You look like having lots of fun with yes, it as well. Absolutely. Shall we go and have a little explore? Because you've got four different areas, haven't you? Let's walk around. It's like Annika Rice now. The camera's going to follow <laughs> us. Um, if we, we're going around this corner here, what, what, what might we find here? So, so this room uh, we're walking into now, I would call my utility room. And this, again, still feeding off that vintagey trend, which is very popular. And I suppose my thoughts here was it's a bit like an old-fashioned general store. Yeah, like it's quite kitsch, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, I... <laughs> You can call oh, it that. I wouldn't oh, call I didn't it kitsch. like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can call the next room it was a bit kitsch, but this is really more a bit like you sort of an old fashioned general store, yeah, you know, like brooms it. and brushes and things that are useful. Yeah, again, very on trend. Yeah. Um, obviously, is this your first time at Spring Fallon? Because you said the company's only been going less than a year. Then have um, you found it so far? Well, it's, it's been amazing. The reaction to this whole this whole stand, you know, the new brand to Mary Jones has been really fantastic. Uh, I've been working in this tr this business for 10 years, so I've always been in this hall, oh, but okay. with another brand. So now this was my chance to sort of, you know, really let my imagination go, really, and, and do the things I've wanted to do. And what kind of people are you talking to then? Have you had a very positive response so far? I think that, again, it's a lot of the retailers, they're looking for something different. And I think it's very tempting in sort of when times are a little bit tough is to be safe because you think that that's what the customers want. Yeah, exactly, and I think that's true to a degree, but then also the shopkeepers need to drag people in. They need something visually enticing, and I think that's hopefully what I'm giving them. And from the reaction I'm getting, that's certainly what's happening. No, hopefully about it. You've got me yeah. sold. Let's go into this next room, because I love this one. This one's so, called Source. What would you describe this as? So my next room is my sort of totally tropical summer room. And it's, this is where we get a little bit oh, of kitsch. Oh, I love this. This, um, is, this is my kind of room. We've got lots of Hawaiian influence, sort of vintage Miami style stuff. We've got giant inflatable pool swans. Because, well, of course, because every home needs one well, of those. Exactly. <laughs> I think Kim Kardashian's got one. So, you know. <laughs> well, if Kim's got, got one, one. We all need one. Um, no, I, really, I really like this. Is this where you kind of have, dare I say, your most fun? You can kind I, of be a bit... Not silly, but you know, you can kind of get carried away, can't you? Pretend you're on your holidays. I mean, this is not a room that doesn't take itself too seriously. <laughs> so it is all about summer fun. And uh, and again, I think that's what people are looking for. You know, we don't, there's enough seriousness going on in the world, enough problems. And this is, you know, forget your worries and have some fun. I have a mojito. <laughs> I might join you later for a mojito, maybe not now on the job. And then we've got one more room through here. Shall we go and have a little look at that? What's through so it seems like a little bit early to talk in, to talk about next Christmas, Never. but again, that whole vintage thing is still very popular. It's very nostalgic. Certainly, little elements that I remember from my childhood, like these little net stockings where we used to get our selection boxes in. Yes, you know, I exactly. I've seen one of those for years. Exactly, <laughs> and I think that's really where I'm going with this is. Uh, that nostalgic Christmas and at simpler times, you know. I love, I'm loving the vibe here. Um, if you had to pick out one product then, which is kind of your hero product, the one perhaps you're most proud of or you've had most interest in, could you show us what it is? I would say that the, uh, the wall carnival lights in, uh, in our London loft room uh, is something that I really um, 
really enjoyed designing and I thought was and has been so successful uh, and people just loved it. Do you it. have a favourite? I think probably Get Lucky. I, I quite like that one, although I have just bought Sweetheart, but I think that's going to okay. be my next purchase. You've got, a, you've got a new fan here. Well done, Craig. I am loving your work. Um, and finally, if you just had to wrap up what you think of Spring Fair and, and the vibe you've had so far, what would you say about it? I'd say Spring Fair is just kind of an essential. You don't really, it's not really anything you think about. You just have to be here. And it's where everyone comes and it's, it's the start of the new retail year and everyone's sort of hungry for something new and exciting and that kind of feeds into us as suppliers and it, we sort of gees us up to do something exciting and offer it. And I think it's, yeah, it's, you have to be here. Couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you so much for your time. Really <laughs> lovely you. to meet you. You too. Take care.